Drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'll be showing you a very simple and fast test method that will allow you to determine if your yeast you are planning to use for a brew is still viable. This method works for both dry and liquid yeast and requires just a very small amount. So let's get to it. For this test you will firstly need a clean and sanitary jar or glass. Then you will add 100 millilitres of warm water which is two fifths of a cup, ideally at around 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The next step is to add a teaspoon of regular white table sugar and then you can add a small amount of your yeast that you wish to test. You should then use a clean and sanitary spoon to stir it up for 10 to 15 seconds. Once you have finished this stirring then let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. You're basically giving the yeast a snack and a warm bath which if it's alive will make it happy. If the yeast is alive and thus viable you will see bubbles, foam or a creamy layer laying on top as you can see here. That's CO2 and activity. It's alive and viable. Naturally the amount of this that you will see will be determined by how much yeast you actually added. In this first example a minimum amount of yeast was used but do not be afraid to add more. Here is an example where more yeast was added at the start. The signs of viability are larger and some people prefer to go this route to be sure. If you wish, no matter how much yeast you use, this can be added to a clean and sanitary airtight container and added to your fridge for use ideally within 24 to 48 hours, though you may still find it viable after a slightly longer period. However, you must avoid using it if it has any signs of mould or if it smells sulfuric, meaty or like rotten eggs. However, if you try this test with yeast and it stays flat after 15 to say 20 minutes, sorry, it's highly likely to be dead and not worth using. You certainly cannot win them all and it's better to be sure about the yeast that you intend to use. Always be sure to have spare yeast at hand for those occasions. Generic yeast like US05 for example is likely ideal for this. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!